hey, this is wonderful that I have all these dreams, all these end goals, goals, ambitions in my life. But am I consciously sacrificing relationship, meaningful relationships? Hi, my name is Devin. Today I own several multi-million dollar companies. We started with $5,000 in a credit card. I don't know the easy way. I only know the hard way. Hey everyone, welcome to the Whiteboard Entrepreneur Podcast, where I give straightforward advice to fuel the entrepreneur in all of us. Today, I want to talk to you about happiness. And uh, I was at the office the other day and I was having a chat with a gentleman and he was talking about a really interesting study that had been done at Harvard on happiness. And it was, it was intriguing to me because um, I was kind of like, man, how do you how do you measure that? How do you, how do you, how do you determine happiness? And he was kind of explaining to me how they had done this really big study and they were trying to figure out at the end of people's lives, who had truly lived a happy life and what was the correlations, uh, kind of across the board for, for those people that were happy. And by the, uh, he, he explained to me how they did. It was really fascinating. But he said that the, the big takeaway from the study was that those who were the most happiest in life had the most amount of meaningful relationships. And, you know, it kind of messed with my head. And I, you know, after the conversation was gone, I was kind of mauling it over in my head over and over again. And I was thinking about this and I was like, wow, I think there's a lot of truth to that. Like, I'm not talking about joy, but I'm just talking about happiness and fulfillment, right? Because I think joy is truly a choice that we make inside. But I was like, happiness comes from relationships. Like, you, you really get that when you're fulfilled, when you're helping others be who, the best that they can be and vice versa. And you have deep, and he also said this, meaningful relationships, and I started thinking about how this really applies to entrepreneurs and, and folks that are dream driven, right? So if you're watching this podcast, you're probably someone that is highly ambitious and has a lot of dreams and goals in their life. Maybe you're entrepreneurial, maybe you're, maybe you're just very ambitious and, and you want to take on the world. You want to do all of these great things. Uh, well, what I've noticed is that many entrepreneurs and many very successful people get to the end of their life and end up in a very unhappy place. And that often, as I was thinking about this study, I was like, and, and the folks that I know that are like that, I could see this and I could see that it's because they get all the way here. They achieved all of their dreams and their goals and everything that they put on their whiteboard and, and they drove hard and they pushed hard. But what happened was along the way, they were sacrificing meaningful relationships. And right now, maybe this is resonating with you. Maybe it's not, but it really resonated with me because I know for a fact in my life, there was times when I consciously sacrificed meaningful relationships for my dreams, my goals, and my ambition. And I'm happy to tell you that, that I changed those ways I'm not sure if it was a conscious decision or not, but I think, you know, probably people in my life slapped me upside the head and, and got me, you know, thinking right and acting right and, and kind of recalibrating. But I want you to think about this and, and consciously decide and, and have a conversation in your head like, hey, this is wonderful that I have all these dreams, all these end goals, goals, ambitions in my life. But am I consciously sacrificing relationship, meaningful relationships? And I'm not talking about you have to be everything to everybody. You have to be everybody's best friend. That's not what I'm saying. But, you know, God gives us these meaningful relationships that we have in our life and sometimes we will neglect them for ambition. We will neglect them for a goal. And you might eventually, in your mind, you might be thinking, well, you know what? When I hit that goal, then I'm going to go back and give this relationship priority. Then I'm going to go back to, you know, this relationship that I've been ne neglecting. And I'm really going to give it my best then. And I'm going to tell you, that might be too late, right? That might be too late in your life, right? Or... Once you reach that goal, if you're like me, then it's just another mountain to climb, right? And so we think sometimes, oh, when I get here, then I'm going to go back and make these things in my life right. But let's be honest, you never get here, right? Because then the next goal is the next goal, the next goal, the next goal. And there's always another mountain to climb. And so you think, oh, you know what? Next year, 
I'm really going to go and prioritize this relationship. Next year, I'm really going to go back and spend time with my friends. I'm going to do that that Thursday night golf league with them. Next year, you know what? I'm going to start going to church again. Next year, I'm going to go to that study that with that group that uh the, those. Um, next year, I'm going to go to my college reunion that we always go to. Next year, I'm going to go on vacation with our best friends. Next year, I'm going to take spring break off with my kids. And we always think this next year, this sometime in the future. And so we sacrifice these meaningful relationships along the way for dreams and goals. And you may reach that dream and you may reach that goal and you may actually live that, 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 that statement that so many people say it's lonely at the top. Well, let me ask you, is it lonely because you neglected your relationships along the way to get to the top? That's a conscious decision that you get to make today because I just told you about this. So now you get to think about this and wrestle with this in your life. But I know that if you apply what we've talked about today, apply this to your life, add back those meaningful relationships, not to sacrifice your dreams and goals, but to prioritize correctly. I know this will help you. I'm Devin and this is Whiteboard Entrepreneur.